Hi, welcome to another Early Bird Adventures video. Today I went fishing on the south shore of Lake Superior uh, for coho and brown trout. Um, I actually ended up five for seven. Uh, I had four cohos, one brown, and two misses. Um, I did not get the last coho or the last brown. Um, they bit close to the end and they were both rapid fire um, and I just didn't have the battery for it. Uh, so please enjoy the video. I will be talking about how I deploy my rods, um, and kind of some tips and tricks on that. Another video, I will talk about my rod setups and we'll be going through with that. Thank you very much. So I'm going to be talking about how I deploy my rods right now. Right now you can see I'm just Gonna reel in all my rods, checking for weeds and stuff like that. Um, this one's my lead core spoon rod. Um, lead core is a little trickier on the kayak than it is on the big boat because the big boat you can point the rod straight behind the boat and let the lead core just nicely. We're on the kayak, obviously, you gotta keep pointing forward. So, um, as you can see, you basically get some of the lead core out and keep your thumb on the reel so you don't backlash. And then once you get it, like right now, you can just let the weight of the lead core just spool out. I just have a two color lead core here. Just want to get the spoon down a little bit. Um, I was marking a lot of fish up really high. So I was basically just letting the lead core, because the rod tip's somewhat out of the water, keeping the lead core, um, basically just letting it straight out of the tip and stopping it almost instantly. Um, you don't really want to have multiple lead cores and have the lead in the tip because that bend in the tip will damage your lead core over time and it'll create a weak spot. So completely let the lead core out and yeah. So now here I'm cranking in one of my stick baits. Now you can see right now I'm checking the tune of the stick bait, making sure it's not going left or right a lot. Um, you know, because that might be one reason why I wasn't getting a fit fish. Because um, I, I saw there was no weeds on it or whatever. Um, again, uh, this was a scatter wrap. And I'm just letting it out to a certain amount. Um, I think I was going 60 feet this day. Just to get down about like 5-6 feet. And then I will be cranking in my board line right here. As you can see... And basically, I have these set up where I have a bead tied onto the line. So I can release my board and have it just slide down to a bead on the line. So you can see here, I have just a small, I think it's Offshore 38. It's the little crappie boards with the foam. And you can see I just have like a three, four foot leader. And I think this one's a Shadow Wrap Purple Descent. So, checking the tune right now, then I'll let it out to whatever footage I was going to put out, and clip the board back on. Um, as, you can, as you saw, I just have a little swivel, um, and then a normal pinch pad that comes with the board. So, I'm going to feed it out, clip the board on, and that's how I'll set up my three rods. Um, sometimes I run two boards and one dead stick. It's usually kind of nice because then uh, I always have a place I can get the fish over to um, net them. But because the fish were so high this day, um, that wouldn't have really worked because my two inside boards were also really high. Um, so I had to run, well I didn't have to, but if no matter what, if I was running boards, I would have had to crank one rod in to net a fish regardless. Um, just because they were only like five feet down, um, it's too easy for them to get into another line and tangle up. Especially for tiny little cohos that like to thrash around and, and run all over the place. Um, so yeah, so on to the video.
Ja, koho. Not graceful. Not graceful in the slightest. But I'll take it. In the net. Perfect. You're a lot smaller than the other two. Well, that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed yourself. Um, I had a whole lot of fun going out this day. It was nice getting out and getting some fresh air and exercise. Uh, let me know if uh, there's anything you guys want me to change, any uh, stuff you want me to try doing for editing and stuff like that. And I uh, hope you guys have a good day.